I think it was the year 2018, definitely summertime. And earlier that winter, I had gotten a shipment of a lot of huge logs, uh, really, really big ones. And among those big logs was a was a linden log. And linden is, is, is not a wood that I had any experience with. It had a lot of burls, and the entire log was just covered with little tiny burls and, and cool things like that. And I can't really remember exactly for what reason, but somehow I ended up cutting cutting off this, this big burl piece. And so I just had it sitting outside in the shade. Uh, I didn't really think much of it. I was maybe thinking I was going to do some knife handle blanks or, or something. But then I got a hold of a lot more logs and that little burl piece just got forgotten. And then one day I I found it sitting just uh, next to a couple of uh, offcuts uh, at the sawmill. And so I figured, oh, it's been a year, so let's just take it inside. And so I did. And it's been sitting in my shop for, I guess, about a year or maybe 18 months or something like that. And so I would expect this to be pretty dry by now. And however, since that time it was sitting in my shop, I, I, you know, I looked at it a couple of times and, and uh, maybe I wanted to try and turn it into a sculpture or something like that. Uh, it's got all these cool burly, you know, sprouts or whatever uh, along its outside. I finally settled on uh, cutting this up on the bandsaw and just see what we could uh, come up with. Maybe turn it into some small end tables or maybe some wall art pieces or something along those lines. I just uh, ordered uh, some new bandsaw blades and I usually run, you know, like a standard three teeth per inch uh, type of blade. I'm not the kind of guy who cut a lot of like crazy curves. So uh, I just found that a standard sized uh, all purpose blade usually does a trick for me. I can do a little bit of ripping and I can do some uh, moderate curves as well. Uh, but since this bandsaw has got this massive throat, I still went ahead and, and ordered a more of a kind of like a resaw blade. Uh, it's a little bit uh, thicker and it's a two tooth per inch count. Uh, try and say that fast three times. And I figured this will be the perfect uh, thing to, to test it with. And I don't think I'm going to be anywhere near of pushing the limits of this bandsaw with this burl piece. It's uh, still a softer wood, uh, but it's going to be uh, fun to try this. So anyway, the first thing that I need to do is uh, flatten uh, just uh, one face of it uh, so that it can ride, ride along the fence and uh, make a nice and even cut. My jointer is a really old, oh, I think it's a Swedish made from probably uh, 50s or 60s, maybe, uh, way back when uh, cast iron wasn't really that expensive. There we go, just a quick couple of passes on the jointer to get it uh, perfectly flat. And that's gonna allow a, a good reference surface for me to ride, a, ride along the fence. And burl wood is about the most expensive wood you can buy. Uh, of course, linden might not be in, in that category of very expensive uh, species of wood, but even still, burl wood is fairly expensive, and if you can find big pieces and, and that, that is usable and turn it into something cool, it's going gonna, it's gonna to naturally come with a, a hefty price tag, of course. And so finding burl wood is, is always nice, and I'm always hesitant sometimes to cut up burl wood. I want to have a very, very clear picture of, of what I'm going to be doing with it before I start to mill it or something along those lines. And of course, my curiosity always gets the best of me. So 
I took just a tiny amount of uh, tongue oil and I didn't have any like mineral spirits or anything. So I just took a, a, just the, the tiniest amount of, t- of tongue oil just to see the, the colors and, and the details a little, a little better. And it, it looked pretty good. I am working absolutely overdrive right now. There's a lot of uh, custom orders I need to get finished. Uh, a lot of cool stuff to look forward to. <laughs> I'm not very good at this YouTube thing just yet, but everybody else seems to remind their viewers to ring the bell. Uh, not sure how important that is, but anyway, if you want to ring that bell, I guess that would be a good thing. <laughs> and also maybe click the like button as well. It gives me a pleasant feeling. So anyway, thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you on the next video.